In this video, we're going to walk through installing SWI Prolog on Windows 11. So the first thing I need to do is download SWI Prolog, and that's going to be at swiprolog.org. I'll choose download and then SWI Prolog, and I want to choose the stable release. So here you'll select the appropriate binary for your platform. Since this is Windows 11, we're going to choose Microsoft Windows 64 bit. Now, some malware detection utilities flag SWI Prolog. Read this, make sure you understand what's going on, but there shouldn't be a problem downloading it. And once it's done, you'll go ahead and open the file. It'll ask you to, if you're sure and say yes. I'll go ahead and close this window. My recommendation is to go through the defaults here. The one exception is I am going to say create a desktop icon just to make it easier to launch. But everything else I'm just going to leave as a default. And that's completed installation. So you notice now I have this icon. So I can double click this or, of course, I could also search for it if I wanted to. However you want to launch it, but we have this nice desktop icon. So let's take, make a use of it. So here we are, we're in SWI Prolog. Now we could do something like Y is three plus four. Of course, that's not very interesting. What we really want to do is consult a fact base. So I've created a fact base that we can start off with called sample. And this is a pretty straightforward fact base with some mother, father, parent facts. And here you can use whatever editor you want. It doesn't really matter because ultimately you just need something that will write text files for you and save the code as a text file. So let me make the font here a little bigger. And let me close this window. To use this file, so we'll say file and consult. You'll navigate to wherever your particular code is. In my case, it's in my programming directory in my documents. So I will double click on that and you'll see that it says that it has compiled and there's 15 clauses in there. So if I try to do a mother Madison X query, it would tell me that Madison is the mother of William. I could also do something like who is the father of Sarah? And you can see that that's George. So now we have SWI Prolog installed. One other thing we may want to change is if I go into Windows Explorer and look for my program, if I double click on it, it opens up Visual Studio Code. And while that's nice, what I would really like it to do is open SWI Prolog and automatically consult that file. So if I right click on that file and say open with, I do get the choice of what I want to open it with. However, to set it as the default, I would select SWI Prolog here and then click always use this app to open PL files. Now when I say OK, it opens it up, but notice the icon here changed. And if I double click that file, it now automatically consults it. And I can say, what does William use as an alias? And we can see here that it's Bill. Whether you want to do that or not is up to you. I personally prefer double clicking on a prologue file and it automatically consulting, but you may prefer to go through the file menu and manually consult that way. And that's fine as well. And of course you can always consult the file by giving it the clause consult, the full path of wherever your file is, and that works as well. The nice thing about this is that if I add a rule here, so for example, if suppose I want to do father x Liam, that fails because I don't have that rule here. So if I come over here to my file and add that a rule here, now I have that rule and I can save this file. I can use up arrow to retrieve what I've done in the past. It still is false because I haven't consulted the file. Once I have the file open, I do like to do a consult like this because now I can up arrow to it, say enter. Now I've consulted the file. And when I say, who's the father of Liam, it tells me it's Joe. So I have other videos that walk through how to use SWI Prolog, but you should follow these steps and download some sample prolog code so that you can consult it and verify that your installation is working. And again, you need to make the decision about whether or not you want to have the behavior of a double click, either open the file for editing or the way I did it to have it automatically consult when you double click the file.